So I've been doing a little bit of summoning on this account. Um, I've been working on it, and I got to 21, which is the level to get the Charm Collector from Dungeoneering, so I think I'm going to buy that. Because I'm planning on doing a little bit of Slayer, um, Dungeoneering on this account is not fun at all solo. Um, near impossible solo. I had I did make a vid kind of stressing a little bit of the problems with Dungeoneering a while ago, but the quality was terrible, so I deleted it right after I uploaded it, but a few people did see that. But anyway, if you do want to Dungeoneer with this account, I'm 75 Dungeoneering. Um, I would be very welcome to take you, or you can take me to a floor, and uh, we can Dungeoneer and have some fun. But um, anyway, I am going to be buying the Charming Imp now, because you needed 21 summoning to buy it, and I just achieved that. So yes, I have the Charming Imp, which is wonderful. And I think I'm going to slay... Um, Possibly might find someone to dungeoneer with later, but probably won't. So, anyway, yes, time for Slayer. So, I just finished with a solo medium dungeon. Um, I am doing the furnished floors, which is, well, one of the furnished floors, which are pretty much the only ones I really can do efficiently solo. So, if we end this, um, we'll see what we get. There's uh, 77 dungeoneering. Don't pay attention that it took 15 minutes to do that floor. It really took like 7, but I had couple things to do and a nice 20k XP drop I will take that so that means uh, first of all I have another occult that I can go to so um, I will have to do my last floor again I'll probably just see one rush it and unlock that but there's also something else that I was dungeoneering for um, unfortunately I'm at uh, one point f almost nearly 1.5 mil dungeoneering XP and I'm not I'm gonna have hardly any tokens left after this um, I'll go over my other purchases in a little bit, but I'm going to be getting the Bone Crusher because uh, this is going to be very useful for Slayer and will save me mo some money on prayer training and all. So I've also bought the Scroll of Life just because it is absolutely invaluable for farming and extremely useful. And I also bought the Charm Imp, which I will most likely show in a clip previous to this one. So those are my three Dungeoneering purchases, uh, which means I don't have any tokens left over for Chaotix, but I'm sure by the time I even get 80 attack or 80 strength, because um, I'll probably get them all first, by the time I even get 80 strength to use a Chaotic, uh, I will probably be much higher dungeoneering anyway. So, yeah, uh, hopefully I'll be able to find some more people to dungeoneer with so I can do my abandoned two floors, and yeah, moving on in the video. So... I am at my Slayer task now. I have Ice Giants at the moment, which is one of the worst Slayer tasks in the history of Slayer tasks. But anyway, I decided to set a set up a prayer XP counter, and what I'm going to be doing with that is I'm just not going to train any prayer uh, legitimately, like not going to be using any Dragon Bones or anything like that. And we'll just see how much XP this Bone Crusher gets me. I know on my main account I've gotten at several hundred K prayer XP. I'm not exactly sure the exact figures because I didn't pay attention but I have got a lot a very far away past 99 on my main account and most of that is just from using the bone crusher alone so it does really add up in the end so we're going to see like how worth it it is to use the bone crusher I know of course you always want to get it sooner rather than later and since I'm going to be doing a lot of dungeoneering in the near future most likely anyway um, and I'm nowhere near even being able to wield a chaotic I figured a bone crusher might be a good investment just to save a bit money on per in the long run um, I do get a lot of tasks which uh, drop big bones, like I'm using the Vanica Slayer Master, so at the, mo at the moment I get Ice Giants, I get Moss Giants, um, I get Hill Giants, um, I think there's a couple other that drop big bones, and then there's just a ton of tasks that drop regular bones as well, so I will, over time it will add up, and I'm also setting up my traditional Slayer XP counter as well. Uh, the one annoying thing about Ice Giants, well besides everything else is that there's only three spawns so you can't kill them very efficiently um, I also got my handy charm collector with me which is just awesome these things do drop a ton of golds uh, I think ice giants and ice warriors together both have like an over 50 percent drop rate of golds so they're one of the be better gold charm dropping monsters along with like fire giants and other stuff but um yeah that's nice for summoning because I'm only level 21 at the moment, so even gold charms are pretty beneficial at such a low level. But I figured, um, you know, a lot of people really did enjoy the Slayer vlogs and logs, uh, I guess both in a way, when I did make them, and I just haven't for a long time because I've been skilling and focusing on getting a max cape. 
but um, now I can go back to that. I can really start up with the Slayer again. Uh, at the moment, I'm wearing a Hex Crest because I found out, unfortunately, you need to be level 130 combat to do the quest um, Smoking Kills, which is like the main Slayer quest, the quest that every Slayer guy who even wants to attempt to slay efficiently should do as soon as possible. But um, I'm only level 104 combat at the moment, so I will have to work a bit before I can actually do that quest. Um, I'm actually using uh, the Wind spell at the moment, the Wind Blast, even though they're weak to fire, because, well, I mean, you hit them all the time anyway, and it just saves a little bit of money using air runes uh, instead of air runes and fire runes. So I'll probably use Wind Blast uh, for the most part, for most of my tasks, just because I'm not rich at the moment. I have uh, 1.3 mil cash, and I have a failed merch at the moment selling in the GE. Um, I was merching focus sites, and they decided to crash overnight, and I lost a... A little bit of money. I lost like 200k. It's not the biggest deal, but I'm just selling them off now at the price with that um, they will sell for. So I can just get a little bit of money back from that. So I probably have about two mil total um, cash wise. Other than that, I don't have a lot else just because um, I haven't sold any of my Slayer drops yet. I think my I'm going to have a tab um, and just keep all the Slayer drops I get in a tab for a little while, and that should be interesting. It should build up over a while. Uh, anyway, I'm going to continue with this Ice Giants task and come back if anything interesting happens in a little bit. One thing I do have to say for people that don't quite have their Slayer Helm yet, because I know uh, I'm in that boat and I'm not the only one as well, um, it is worth using a Hex Crest for Mage tasks, a Focus Sight for Range tasks, and a Black Mask for Melee tasks, because you have to buy them anyway to um, make your Slayer Helm once you do get the points for it, and they just they really do help a lot. It's very noticeable. Uh, whether you're wearing the hex crest or not in this situation, um, I actually have not got any uh, range or any melee or range tasks since buying them. Uh, I have my last ten tasks in a row have all been mage tasks, which is really weird and odd. I've been getting a ton of ankus. Um, I got like crocodiles and I got hill giants and ice giants a couple times. So all of those are mage tasks. So um, I haven't tried out the focus sight or the black mask yet, but I do have them in my bank. So that's where a little bit of money went as well because I bought the hex crest for uh, 100k, I bought the focus sight for 300k, and I bought the um, the black mask for I think 650, something like that. So I had to put about a mil towards uh, Slayer gear. And as well, I, I have achieved 50 defense. I achieved that earlier today, so that means I can now wear a bat wing, which helps a lot, and it looks a lot better than split bark, which is where what I was wearing previously. And I also bought myself a set of rune that I can now wear now, and some blue dragon hide, which is better than green. Uh, one thing that's kind of odd is I'm only 42 range, and yet it still lets me wear blue dragon hide because this is the only uh, requirement for blue dragon hide is 50 defense, which in a way kind of makes sense because uh, it doesn't affect your range accuracy that much. It's more just uh, defensive armor. Um, but at the same time, it is a little odd that I don't have 50 range and yet I can wear a blue dragon hide. Just not really what I was used to. But anyway, that's an interesting little fact. One thing that's kind of annoying is the Ice Giants have a ton more HP than the Ice Warriors, but they give the same amount of XP, which is a bit frustrating. But, um, oh well, this task should be done soon. So something interesting, interesting should happen at the end of this kill, which we'll see in just a second. Uh, I think this task is almost done. Just a few more to go. Should be, yeah. 22 more to go. So there's 42 Slayer. I'm not sure if that unlocks anything or not. Oh, Fever Spiders. Well, I have not done the quest for those yet, but I think you actually need 42 Slayer to do that quest. So that's a requirement for a quest that I was thinking about doing uh, checked off, I guess. So I finished that task. I got uh, 3.3k Slayer and over a thousand prayer XP, which uh, was pretty good, I guess. Uh, especially once I get onto later tasks, and the tasks take longer than like 65 monsters, um, I might get some f a few k prayer XP for each task, which is actually pretty good. Uh, so that's going to add up. I'm glad I purchased the Bone Crusher already. It seems worth it. Uh, I have some Avento seeds here because I am going to be going on a farm run, um, and I. Yeah, I'm a bit far off of farming level. I thought I might get one, but I can also do a willow tree run now because it's been a couple hours since I last checked my willow trees, so um, I very well might get 58 farming this run, which is nice. So, uh, task, um, I hope for werewolves or green dragons because I could use money. Either of those would be great. Otherworldly beings, um, 
Not sure what those are all about. Uh, I will RuneScape wiki them, because I don't know what they're weak to. I've never killed them before, uh, since EOC anyway. So thanks for watching this video. That's about all. I guess I'll call this Progress Video 1 or something like that. So yeah, farewell until next time, and enjoy your scaping.